Okay, we're going to learn this Gemara. We learned it already. And this is a little bit of a review. It starts from Toshima here with this red line, is, from this red bracket. Um, let's make that a little darker. And it ends over there. Okay, again, there's a machlekes. If Avedin Ashtin al uh, Rab Nachman holds that Avedin Ashtin al you're allowed to take the law into your own hands. And Rabbi Yudol holds that you're not allowed to. So Toshima, come in here. Harisha, I said, Derech Harabim, my verse, Pesach Sadeyu, a person had a road. Derech uh, Harabim means a, um, a public road, public path. That was, a verse was passing through his field. I don't know how it got there. Maybe he had a, a field um, on two sides of a highway or something. Or people just started to walk through his field. It became their uh, path and... Anyway, what he did was notla. He took the this road away from them. Kama, but not from the That's the end of the story. And he gave them minatzad. He gave them from the side. Minatzad means side. Min means from side to side. So the halacha is mashin nasan. It's important where you put the kama over here. Mashin nasan. What he gave them nasan is given. Mashinasan, what he gave them, Nasan is given. Vishalai, but his old his old um, path, Laihigiya, he doesn't get it back. In other words, he gave them a new path. And he doesn't get back his old path. Let's do a little uh, diagram over here. Move myself out of this. So Mashinasan Nasan means the new path that he gave them is given to them. Vishalai, but his old path. Uh, he doesn't get back. Like he doesn't come back to him, or he could mean reach him. Let's do reach, reach him. Okay, so let's say um, he has a field over here, and there is a um, a uh, highway that goes through his that goes through his property. He doesn't like that. He has to go to both sides. So he says, you know what? Um, Let's make a new highway right over here. I mean, it's, this is the highway Minatad. So the halacha is that the um, the new path they get, actually in order to make this um, an actual issue, let's do it better. Let's put the new path actually at the edge of his field like that. So it's actually going through his field. And the old path he doesn't get back. Okay. That's the halacha. Now, the Gemara asks, V'i amrit, and if we say, Ovedinish dino lenafshe, if a person is allowed to take the law into his own hands, so linkait pazra, let him take a stick, this is a stick, v'leisev, and sit there. Leisev is like leishev, the tough and a shin are interchangeable, we learned that before. Uh, sit on the path, and uh, you chase everyone away from your old, from the the path that's going straight through your road, and you'll um, you'll uh, have everyone go with the new way. If you hold up an interesting lapse, if you're allowed to take the law into your own hand, you're always allowed to protect your yourself. You're allowed to protect your your property. So why not? You should be allowed to sit there and chase everyone away. So we're going to have three answers. Let's change the color, and we'll put over here. This is answer number one. Um, Rishashi is answer number two, and Ravashi is answer number three. Okay, so one, two, and three. So, Amr Rav Zvid Mishmei Rava, Rav Zvid says in the name of Rava, what does he say? Gezeira, there's a decree, Shem Yitlam Darch HaKalasin, maybe he'll give them a crooked road. Akalasin means crooked. Maybe you'll give them a crooked road, and that means that because you might give the, them a crooked road, Go back to our diagram, and you may give them. We'll make a uh, different color here to make it clear. What would a crooked road be? Or maybe it would be like a road that went like that. Okay, so because you might give them a crooked road, so the Chachamim said that you, what, you, you, you can never take a property away from the public because the new the uh, the new the new path may be a crooked path, so they, they can always keep their old path. Okay, uh, now obviously we've only answered one part of this, that why he doesn't get the, the road going through his property. 
um, but why the new path belongs to them, that the Gemara is going to ask soon. Rabbi Mesharshi Amar Mesharshi says, No, it's actually when he actually gave them a crooked road. If he didn't give them a crooked road, then he could, he, uh, he could get his old path back, uh, and they would keep the new path if it was a, if it was a straight road. Um, but if not, if he, uh, if he gave them a crooked road, then that's where our, our Mishnah, our Brisa is talking about. It's talking about a case where he gave them an actually, actually a crooked road. Let's see if I can extend the borders here. Okay. Um, now... Um, okay. Okay. Hopefully this is working. Ravashi Yamar Kolman Atzad Derech HaKolosin. Ravashi has his own answer. HaKolosin who? Ravashi says that anything that's on the side is automatically crooked. Why is it crooked? Because Krevel is Erech It's close to this, but distant from this. So if we take our example back, um, even if it's a straight road like this right here, but let's say for people that live over here, you have this fellow that um, that lives over here, uh, and you have a fellow that lives over here. So this is considered a crooked road. And now he has to go all the way here to go. So it's actually good for him because let's say he wants to get through, but um, it would have been better for him fellow A and fellow B. So it's Rechaika Lazer, but it's Krei Lazer. It's good, the new road is good for him, but it's crooked for him, and therefore that's considered a crooked road. Okay, it's that simple. Um, let's, well, let's go back. I just want to compare the, these things. The, we had three answers. We had Rav Zvid, Rav Mashashi, and Rav Ashi. Rav Zvid says, you, you will never be able to get this road back. You will never be able to get that road back because as a Xeri, you might give them a crooked road. Whether you gave them a straight road or not, forget it. Ravashi says you will also never get it back because any road that you gave them is automatically going to be crooked because it's always a, a little bit over to the side and that's not good for one, for one side. According to Rav Masharshia, it, says it depends. If you gave them that road, then you'll get your old road back. If you gave them that road, that's a crooked road. Then you won't get your old road back. So Masharshia seems to be like the lenient one here. Um, so Ravashi and Rosvid seem to have that similarity that um, there's never a case where you'll, they'll get the old road back however Ravashi and Mamashashia are the same that there's no Gzaira, it's not a Gzaira okay. now the Gemara now asks the question that we mentioned before Ihachi, if so Amai Shalei Lai why does he not get his new road back the new road that he gave them, Lehu, let him say to them, Shekulu didchu, didchu means yours. Shekulu is take, take what is yours. Vahavali didi, havul is give. Give to me, didi mine. Right. Um, that's I right, got a bit of question mark in there. Question mark. Let me get the new road back. So if we uh, just go ahead, just to explain what's going on. Um, the question is, why does he not get the new ro- the new road back? Now, there's a huge problem in this Gemara, and that is that when it says Shaloi, now Amai Shaloi Lahigiyai, why does he not get back his new path? I wrote it over here, his new path. Actually, if you notice, Shaloi Lahigiyai over here meant his old path, and over here it means a new path. So the Gemara just switched the terminology, um, which is fine. Uh, Rashi says that's uh, that's what the Gemara is doing. However, Taisvis and Rabbeinu Hananel actually have a different girsa, and they, they have, over here it says, Mash, amai, Mashinasa Nasan Amai, they add in the word Amai. And they change, instead of Shalei Legiyah, Mashinasa Nasan. And therefore, it's re- actually referring to the new path directly, like we said before. The, so the symmetry was better according to Taisvis and Rabbeinu Hananel. But um, I guess the, the text is uh, clear with Rashi. Okay, so whatever the case is, the question is, why do they keep the new path if he's not able to get his old path and he gave a new path in exchange? So why do they get the old path and the new path? So say the exchange is off and let, just let him keep the, uh, the path that he gave. It, it, was, uh, it, it, it didn't work. So the answer is, 
Mishum de Rav Yehuda, because of what Rav Yehuda says. Dam Rav Yehuda, Rav Yehuda said, Meitzar, which is a border, or a, a pathway, Shechzikah by Rabim, that the public uh, took possession of. Also, Lakalkalai, that cannot be destroyed. So because that, that cannot be destroyed, we're talking about a case, uh, let's, over here, where this new path, people already started to walk on it, and so therefore, he can't get it back anymore. Probably, originally, if he uh, presented it, can I give it to you, and, and they told him it's not going to work, so then he would be able to, to get it back, but because they already used it, so he can't. Again, we had a question over here of Abedin Ishtinu Lenafshi, he should be allowed to get his road back, the old road, let him sit there, and we answered, for several reasons, he can't. Okay.